Good afternoon and welcome to the second lecture of the Centenary Celebration Lecture Series organized by University of Women's Association Madras and Dr. MGR Janaki College of Arts and Science of Women. This will be one among the many lectures that will be organized throughout the year. We will start the program with an invocation to seek the blessings of the Almighty. May I request Vishnu Priya of the BSC Psychology and Chalchanti College to sing the prayer song. Jag chenani jag nata vani sadeswati vakti vi. Jag chenani jag nata vani sadeswati vakti vi. Vina pani sadeswati pann kavi ni kali vani vina pani saraswati pann kavi ni kali vani pustak pani saraswati vidya dayani namostuti pustak pani saraswati vidya Yadayani namusuti Jag chenani Jag nata Vani saraswati Vagdi vi Vani saraswati Vagdi vi Vani saraswati Vagdi vi Thank you. Thank you, Vishnu Priya. Now may I request Mr. Sri Lakshmi Mohan Rao, Senior Member and Treasurer of uh, University Women's Association Madras to deliver the welcome address. On behalf of University Women's Association Madras and Dr. Jan MGR Janaki College of Arts and Science, Chennai, I extend a very hearty welcome to all the members of UA, UFUA, and other participants to this talk on prevention of sexual harassment of women. This talk is the second in series organized as a part of University Women's Association Madras Centenary Celebrations. Dr. J. Vasanta Kumari, member RC Chennai, Prime and Posh committee member, trainer and our own member is uh, here with us today. I extend a very warm welcome to her. Dr. J. Vasanta Kumari is also a consultant, psychologist, soft skill and entrepreneurship trainer, and has addressed audience in several international seminars and other platforms on issues related to sexual harassment of women in workplaces. An awareness, the measures for protection will be an eye opener for many. I welcome you once again to address the gathering today. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I'm very happy to introduce our speaker for today, Dr. J. Vasanta Kumari. She's a consultant psychologist and she has been associated with around 75 organizations as a, as a posh member and trainer. She has also addressed as a speaker in various international conferences. Her core competencies are prevention of sexual harassment, domestic inquiry and harassment inquiry, gender diversity and inclusive consultancy and training, psychological counseling, soft skills and entrepreneurship training. It is indeed a pleasure to have you with us today, ma'am. Without further ado, may I request Dr. Basant Kumari to take over. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, am I audible now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You're audible. Yeah. Uh, thanks, University Women Association, even the current president, uh, Madam Sri Lakshmi, Madam, who's an inspiration for me for the last 25 years. Very happy to be here to address the student community on sexual uh, prevention of sexual harassment at the workplace as well as the public space. Uh, I would like to uh, present my um, PPT. Can I go ahead with it, uh, Dr. Rangita? Yes, yes, ma'am. Just have to open the PowerPoint slide. Yes, ma'am. Now? Yes, yes, ma'am. 
Now we can start. Hi. Yeah. I just wanted to start with a small uh, presentation because it would be in a, you would be in a position to understand better. You must be in a position to understand what is prevention of sexual harassment. And there are two different things. One is the prevention of sexual harassment at public space. And the other one is the prevention of sexual harassment at uh, workplace. Before getting into the subject of sexual harassment, we need to know what is harassment, as, um, you know, what is harassment actually? I think that I can even uh, open up for questions, but the time given to me is very short. That is the reason why I'm giving you the definitions. You know, harassment, you know, even proposing, I won't believe that, uh, as she said, that uh, I'm associated with more than 75 organizations. Most don't think that only students are celebrating the Valentine's Day. In the corporates, you know that uh, because of the Valentine's Day, I have received 12 complaints. You know, there was a proposal and proposing will not come under harassment. Anything which is, uh, you know, if it is one time, it will not come under harassment. The very word harassment against the will of the person, if somebody is, uh, uh, you know, forcing you, somebody is, uh, you know, making you to accept, somebody is uh, giving you trouble, somebody is following you, all such things will come under harassment. So we need to understand what is harassment. In general harassment, there are certain things which we can uh, understand. You know, discrimination, any form of discrimination will come under harassment. Discrimination in terms of, um, you know, uh, financial status or discrimination in terms of uh, uh, state, uh, social status, uh, religion, in terms of uh, caste, uh, everything will come under harassment. But sexual harassment, gender discrimination will come under um, sexual harassment. You need to know what is gender here because uh, most of the people, they try to associate only with the women. It is not, not so actually. Uh, it is a kind of, a, you know, both male, female and everything. Here being the students, uh, you know, you need to understand the, the difference between the, the terms sex and gender. Sex is the physical form. If any organization, you are joining an organization, or you are with the college when they want to know whether you are male or female then the question asked is what is your sex and uh, all of us are familiar with the three genders gender is the emotional form and psychological frame of mind and uh, uh, you know like one may look like a male but having the emotions of female the vice versa is also possible I would like to give you here because since I'm also associated with the UN organizations, UN women organization, so far there are the accepted, we are familiar only with the 50, only with three genders, but so far it is accepted is 56 genders, five, six. If you want, you can Google it and see even your Facebook is accepting 56 genders. Like even I am, I'm part of a ungender organization, ungender, agender, cisgender, non-binary. There are so many things are happening around us. You need to know all such things. And so the, the first term is sex. The second term is sexuality. How do you want to express yourself with the sexuality? And the third term is sexual orientation. Sexual orientation is nothing but your preference to have sex with who, meaning that, uh, you know, you are homosex, heterosex, or bisex, or whatever it is. Because I need to talk to you here. You may be wondering that we are students, we are young, and, uh, you know, why, why do you want to talk all these things here? You need to understand, because you are girls. And one more thing, uh, you know, um, Ignorance, ignorance, most of the time, ignorance, the awareness is very important. Ignorance leads to a lot of uh, uh, issues and especially for girls. So that is the reason why I would like to talk to you. And I'm associated with many colleges actually as an external member. So what are the types of problems, uh, harassments the girls are undergoing? We know that. And I'm working with the corporates where like ITC Biscuit Factory, uh, more than 80% are uh, women, girls, young girls. In fact, uh, Sri Brambathur, uh, I was talking to you about the Valentine's Day issue. Young girls actually, you know, they are from rural background, just completed their uh, diploma. Uh, hardly they must be in the age group of uh, 19, 20, 21. Uh, when they come from the rural background, there are a lot of issues they face here. 
you will never think that uh, uh, we are uh, metro people we are chennai people even there are a lot of issues are going on that is the reason why we need to talk all these things here physical contact you know physical contact inappropriate touch please understand inappropriate touch you know, uh, you, know you know that being the girls uh, uh, you know right from the school days you would have you are very familiar with the good touch bad touch in fact in an organization you know, i was teaching the it's a huge uh, automobile manufacturing organization i was teaching the employees what is uh, uh, prevention of sexual harassment act you know you must be aware of it uh, at workplace there is a committee internal complaints committee and this committee i am an external member for the internal complaints committee how to take care of the sexual harassment all such things end of the program a person who's in 40s he was asking me ma'am it's a good program it is a, you were able to tell us the case studies everything but what we thought when when my hr manager told us that there is a, um, a session on uh, sexual harassment somebody is going to handle the session we have uh, we were expecting that you will come and teach us what is good touch and bad touch please understand he is in 40s i was able to tell him good touch and bad touch is for your kids kids who are in, uh, you know 10 years 12 years for them and for you no touch i am here to teach you no touch please understand all such things are being girls you, you know that um, the intention you know even sometimes some kind of touch happens by accidentally but still the intention is very important you can understand that is a god given gift to the girls and women you know they know that uh, the intention but but as per the act the posh act the intent versus impact is very important intention may be pure if it creates an impact to you then it becomes sexual harassment so uh, you need to understand all such things and it is illegal it is inappropriate and you know uh, most of the time in, in the un women last month uh, our slogan was every month we used to have a a campaign promotion kind of things last month our uh, subtitle was don't uh, no, stop blaming the victim because most of the time in the indian you know because i have been to many developed countries i have presented papers uh, on behalf of the un organizations in us and then malaysia many countries but i just wanted to give you an input in the developing countries especially the especially the traditional countries like india people try to blame the girls whatever happens you no know, like even our fam- our own family members um i have a lot of incidents you know girls when they go and share with their parents by and large they used to say that there are 3000 girls are working in your organization why only you what did you do and then the maybe the way the girls are dressing is the reason behind it all such things are not at all the reason i i tell you even in a um, what a 6 year old girl uh, gang rape is happening so so stop blaming the victims in society is blaming uh, you know this act is in place only after uh, nirbhaya incident you know the delhi nirbhaya incident people were talking about what were uh, why she was there on the roads uh, after 9 o'clock that was the question raised by most of the people so people try to blame the girls for everything so you have to be very careful about that and uh, and you know inappropriate promises and then don't uh, get carried away by all those promises and domestic violence unwanted uh, um, um, talk and then all such this verbal contact you know we know that uh, people because you are age is also you know we can understand that that is how we are designed adolescent age is actually you know high risk and vulnerable we can understand that is that's not your problem your hormone problems you are also growing up and this attraction is uh, quite common and it is natural but you need to know how long you can take it so that is uh, i am not talking to you that um, you should not get attracted but still you know how to handle the relationship that is very important and one more thing at the time of incorporates at the time of uh, uh, when you are in relationship whatever you are sharing everything becomes okay 
but when it comes to when there is a break up in the relationship all such things be it messages or images or videos whatever you have shared becomes the evidence of proof so be careful whatever you are doing and harassment at workplace we you because uh, end of the day the very purpose uh, once you are done with your studies anyway you will be working and what are the things uh, which comes under harassment it's a general harassment i'm talking about not sexual harassment a harassment at workplace is a physical uh, a slap on the face or slap or uh, you know hitting you or pushing you everything will come under physical harassment and social you no know, i'll give you an example in an organization a girl who was you know, Uh, having her lunch in the during the lunch time in the canteen the person from the same organization in the same department he has made a comment saying that uh, you are already 80 kg why do you want to have a paneer cheese cheese butter masala something she was having it and all such you know in front of everyone you know such things will become the, the when you are going out the people make that please don't allow somebody to make it is called as the body shaming you no know, like you are tall you are short you are fair you are dark all such things will come under social harassment and emotional definitely it has a co- it has a consequence definitely uh, you know people may try to bottle up things may try to feel uncomfortable may try to feel uh, you know um, uh, there is a kind of inferiority complex all such things please don't allow people to make such things and verbal verbal you know by words verbal is nothing but by words when they harass you by words you no know, like uh, and uh, in many corporates people uh, you know the father youngers they used to call them as uh, dear darling honey or in prakash raj style you no know, chellam in fact in um, uh, you know chittur a young guy gave a complaint against his uh, lady boss saying that she is calling me as mahesh babu but i don't like it and that is also possible even bullying so bullying you know how how people used to bully the way you dress the way you uh, i you know you talk everything all such things will come under harassment but bullying with sexual connotation will come under sexual harassment see dear there is a consequence i said there is a con- consequence don't try to bottle up things speak out have a good friend even um, at times uh, when you are emotionally disturbed please talk to your professor who whomever you are comfortable with have a good friend or get the professional help you know counselors are there and definitely don't try to bottle up things this is called power harassment you know that power harassment is uh, you know by using or using or misusing the power uh, you must have read uh, the case study of uh, uh, mcd you know you know mcd i'm sure that mcdonald's global chief uh, uh, chief was asked to go out of the organization because he has misused the power and he was in relationship with his secretary though it was a consensual you know that what is consensual it is accepted accepted kind of things though it was accepted as per the code of conduct of the organization you are, you are not supposed to have relationship with the people who are reporting to you so power harassment in corporates it is quite common we are even to see people try to threaten them like you know uh, there is a word called adjustment if you are not able to adjust with me you know you cannot survive here you have to go out of the organization don't ever think that uh, you know that in the labor class it is quite common uh, even construction labor the female labor has to put up with the kind of jokes uh, or the kind of harassment made by the uh, male colleagues or the mason or poor it is you know even post covid um i we have started uh, traveling by flights because you know that for the last 2 3 months the flights are there and and last month i was in a uh, you know ground handling company and where i am associated as an external member the flying attendants the, the, the air hostess now they are they are sharing their experience with us you know initially they used to tell us uh, 
we think that all these things are quite common only with the labor class um, you know their uh, their salaries are not um, you know fixed salaries like air india today it is associated with the number of flying hours they try to tell us that ma'am you know that if i am not able to adjust he is not inviting me girls don't think that i am threatening you see i am part of the external committee so it's i am only cautioning because prevention is better than cure so you should be in a position to understand be aware what is happening around you and uh, you know that is the message i am trying to give you and uh, that is called power harassment if you are not able to adjust then you cannot survive here and then then comes the sexual harassment what are the things so far we we were talking about the uh, harassment at workplace and public space today now we are going to talk about the sexual harassment as per that you must be aware of the act the prevention of sexual harassment at workplace in the year 2013 because nirbhaya incidents happened in the year 2011 and you know prior to that there was a visakha commission banwari devi commission but those things were not mandatory but only after nirbhaya incident it has become mandatory and every organization having more than 10 employees there, there must be an internal com- committee and you know the it has to be led by the um, a lady senior lady um, of the organization and there must be a, it's a mandatory an external member like me maybe a lawyer or a psychologist or a kind of a uh, you know an ngo member who's aware of uh, all women issue kind of thing today the women issues and gender based violence uh, you know post covid we have been seeing lot of domestic violence whatever is the disaster be it a flood or whatever a tsunami or a corona or whatever it is the worst uh, affected victims are the women and the girls that you i am sure that you would be in a position to understand so that is the domestic violence is, uh, when there is no money when there is no there is an issue with the when there is a financial issue ultimately it ends up with the domestic violence so you have to be careful about that then comes the sexual harassment as per the act uh, these are the five broad categories which comes under sexual harassment physical contact and advances i don't think i need to give an example for this any kind of physical contact you know inappropriate touch and then in fact uh, i just in an organization i would like to give you an example mm, you know uh, somebody you know there is a complaint saying that uh, my my manager slapped me see which part is also very important if there was a slap on the face then it will come under harassment at workplace hr manager and hr department will take care of it and she said that he hit me at the back then it becomes a sexual harassment and work from home we are very particular that there should not be any video call one on one there should not be any video call because there are a lot of complaints you know people uh, are requesting the secretary or the young girls who are reporting to focus the camera on to the private parts all such things are happening today that is why we are very particular and when they ask me to talk to you about this i was more than happy to address you because every day and we, uh, i am seeing different types of uh, complaints uh, such complaints so physical contact and advances a request for a sexual favors sometimes it is a request sometimes it is a demand like quid pro quo you know what is quid pro quo it's like um, it's a deal it's a business deal kind of you know i am going to give you a promotion or i am going to give you a pay hike what is that you are going to give back to me that is the quid pro quo and if you are not accepting his request or demand then making her life miserable like uh, you know that is called hostile work environment so that comes under in fact at the time of performance appraisal you know no before promotion once in a year 360 degree performance appraisal for happening the the bosses were asking uh, you know this kind of a, a sexual uh, demand for sexual favors or quite common at the time of performance appraisal and sexually colored remarks uh, you know like making double meaning jokes 
quite common in corporates double meaning jokes and it is very easy for them to say that that was not intentional that was not deliberate act but if it as i told you the intent versus impact if intention may be pure if it creates an impact it comes under sexual harassment and showing pornography i'm sorry to tell you 8 out of 10 cases are because of pornography you know what is pornography you know uh any any kind of sexual act or it may be in the in the form of text form or picture form or it may be video form or whatever form it is that comes under sexual harassment mostly i'm telling you not only in the corporates and adults are involving into all these things school students as early as 12 years children and the best schools very affectionate i am not talking about the dysfunctional family i am not talking about the broken family and divorcee nothing of that sort very affectionate very traditional parents but because it is freely available and everyone is having the high end gadgets and, and the age is also i am not talking about i am not blaming the Uh, you know i'm not blaming the institutions the schools or colleges they can't do anything it is available and i am not blaming the parents because they are unaware they are not able to understand in fact i have seen many cases they are not able to accept even my daughter can uh, watch such things and they were telling me that she is in the 10th uh, standard the best school and uh, father is a chartered accountant mother is a professor and only child and you know they are saying that she is addicted to mobile phone she I, we think that she is addicted to pubg game or whatever it is but we came to know that she is addicted to all such thing so um, they, they are telling us um, netflix and there are so many uh, you know apps are available we really the parents we really do not know the teachers and parents are definitely helpless we really do not know but the next generation especially, especially the the millennium kids you are very smart but it is like a, you know kitchen knife you can use it to make, cut the apple as well as you can also use that knife for whatever you wanted to do so that that is where you have to understand where do you want to the upper limit is very important where do you want to draw a line that is very important and showing pornography and the physical verbal or non verbal sexual contact meaning that they you know a wink of an eye uh, body language sign language any sexual kind of uh, i i'll give you an example in an organization a girl dressed a young girl dressed up uh, with a, um, a black suit kind of thing one person said that from the same department you are looking pretty in the black dress considered as a um, complimentary statement the other person said that you are looking uh, hot in the black dress the words like hot all such things comes under hot meaning that um, sexy so all such things are considered as the uh, sexual harassment these are the five broad categories of sexual harassment and uh, you know see i am not here to threaten you or i am not here to tell you that have fun uh, be happy enjoy your life definitely there is no issue at all there is no issue at all but then you should be in a position to understand how far you can go that is very important and and way to draw a line that is very important and please feel and you know uh, while walking on the road please don't get into your mobile phone or don't addicted to all such things you know people are it's very easy to you know um, uh, blame you and uh, and it is very difficult for you to understand what is happening around you so that is very important and you need to understand what is happening to you there are a lot of things happening and uh, 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 you know the safety is very important and one more thing i said that um, prevention of sexual harassment at public space that is also very important you are traveling by public uh, transport be it um, 
electric train or metro train or uh, bus or uh, even flight there are a lot of issues being the youngers we keep seeing and uh, you should know how to protect yourself be aware and then um, how to handle all such things aware of uh, and don't get uh, you know like uh, the fear is the one thing which will uh, make the other person to advance you know he can he just if you if you only want to uh, move towards the corner he can push you to the corner exactly so we are aware what is happening so public uh, don't think that i am a very bold girl in tcs you know what happened you know it was a public news that is why i am telling you i am not talking about the sexual harassment you know four years back or five years back uh, you know this sometimes girls you know they think that they are very bold and um, she was riding her two wheeler um, after completing her uh, night shift that is that is not good because the roads are not that safe um, for a girl to uh, you know ride the two wheeler so we have be careful and the boldness is uh, different from stupidity so um, wherever you want to go go in a group don't go alone and safety is not there i am not asking you i am not saying that uh, you know you should not go be bold no doubt but boldness is different from uh, you know taking different decisions you no know? all such things and harassment you should be even at the at the very stage initial stages they no girls i always prefer to teach them assertiveness the the problem of the young girls if you are not comfortable with somebody don't keep quiet tell the person say for example in a in a, an organization uh, a girl was uh, giving me a complaint saying that young girl this guy is sending me uh, you know messages in the odd times by 12 o'clock in the night but it is very easy for us to check the call history chat history today it everything in no time we are able to get everything then we came to know that uh, she has been chatting with this guy for the last four months only from 11 o'clock till 1 o'clock every day she is chatting and the worst thing happened is she is not only chatting with this guy and she was able to chat with four guys four other guys actually and uh, see you know harassment at the public space even a stranger an unknown person can do it whereas harassment at uh, workplace only the known people can do it if if you are not interested in continuing that relationship please tell the person that you are not interested and you know keep being quiet i can if somebody is sending you message abusive message when you keep quiet what is the message you are trying to give it to the other person you are okay with it silence is the message you know yes message and you know like the, the movies you can see all uh, uh, mo- uh, you know tamil movie be tamil movie or hindi movie or telugu movie you know people you know they uh, he will he will imagine so don't go, give room for all such things if you are not comfortable please tell the no but you cannot there are even uh, asat you know so i was talking to you girls are either very aggressive they they fight say for example i'll give you an example here i have a pen here you are you are asking me this pen i am not interested in giving it to you i say i can say no or uh, how can you ask my pen or how dare you are to ask my pen that is the assertive you know aggressive way of saying no but there are girls who are very submissive what to do this girl has asked me being a trainer i have to give you and i don't like to give but still uh, since i am not able to say no i am giving it to you then that kind of people are called as the submissive people be as a to say no when you want to see there is a book called don't say yes when you want to say no see most of our problems are saying yes when you want to say no please no say no in a polite way without hurting others that is very important um, you know violence is not the solution for everything you need to tell the people how to uh, say no that is very that will save you from many many uh, issues and many problems you can come out of it so uh, be assertive be bold 
and when you want to go go as a team of two three people and and you know like um, yeah your your diversity is one uh, very important thing i think i have a presentation on that all are welcome here and diversity you know what is diversity accept every culture you know india is an example of a uh, unity in diversity you know we speak different languages we we speak you know we dress up differently and then we eat different food but still all of us belong to india in the same way we don't discriminate based on the gender or based on the uh, skin color or based on the uh, financial status all of us are here to study together all of us are here to work together so this diversity will help us to our 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 you know strength it is a strength so that is why i just wanted to tell you that uh, accept the diversity in fact in most of the corporates earlier no i know that when i started my training career at the age of 23 you know i am talking 30 years back you know Uh, i used to go to ambattur factory to give um, uh, those days absolutely there was no posh act kind of thing it was stress related and behavioral training program huge industries like uh, you know, ti cycles and you won't believe that uh, it is full of men full of men and there are organizations like ashok leland they used to ask me can you send a male trainer because that's not the right place for you to come and handle this pressure but today only for the last 4 5 years they are calling us because they are supposed you know what is gender diversity even the board the board of directors they must be the representation of all the genders should be there so uh today uh, the director of ashok leland is a friend of mine dr umara a lady is the, uh, who's taking care of the hr so because of the uh, every factory they need to recruit at least 20% of the girls so diversity is definitely helping us to get more employment opportunities and equal opportunity employer all such things comes under diversity so i am telling you there are opportunities available but at the same time it is up to you to how to take you know carry yourself and i can also give you for as far as the girls are concerned even organizations like infosys at the time of the at the entry level you know as freshers sometimes more than 50% in fact uh, from college to campus more than 50% so sometimes uh, in T B TCS or uh, infosys more than 50% 60% uh, people are girls but as you grow in the team leader level it drops down when you go as a manager when you see it is only it is only 10% girls are able to reach up to the level of manager and uh, general manager kind of thing what i'm trying to uh, by and large most of the organization they face uh, harassment in different ways you must be bold enough you must improve your performance you must update your knowledge and then be expressive whatever and be assertive that is very important be a team player please don't be like a, you know the queen bee syndrome no you know the bee you no know, um, honey bee kind of the bees you know the queen bee will never allow the other lady in the team don't be like that we have to grow together actually Liam, that is why I just wanted to give you. In fact, when you are with a team, it is strength. Actually, unity is strength. You know. So the, even for the safety, I don't want to give you more negative news about the uh, prevention of sexual harassment. There are a lot of things I can give you every day. I am facing. Either I am handling a training program, or I am part of a. I am an inquiry officer for many corporates. But uh, you know. Uh, you have to feel be positive and then mm, the message what i am trying to give you is all such things are there but it should not stop your growth that's the strong message i am trying to tell you you should know how to deal with it you should know how to come out of all such things have a big goal and achieve that is the message i am trying to give you here yes
with that uh, i just wanted to make a very small presentation and i would be happy to answer your questions and the, i'm i'm sure that there must be a lot of questions and if you are uh, able to answer ask questions i'm happy to answer them thank you very much ma'am uh, we don't see any questions in the chat box so if there are any okay. questions we will forward it to you so maybe you can uh, address it later on ma'am uh, thank you very much ma'am uh, for the very empowering and informative lecture the session was really a uh, need of the hour thank you very much for the session ma'am uh, now may i request ms arjuna assistant professor department of english dr m j r janaki college to propose the vote of thanks Good afternoon. No matter what language we speak, a kind and smiling thank you always speaks to everyone's heart. It takes me immense pleasure in thanking Dr. Lata Rajendran, President of the University of Women's Association, Madras, for organizing the session on prevention of sexual harassment of women. My sincere thanks to the Treasurer, University of Women's Association, Madras, Mrs. Sri Lakshmi Mohan Rao, for the welcome note. I take the opportunity to thank Dr. J. Vasanta Kumari for this amazing lecture on sexual harassment and how we need to turn the crisis around to look at the chances of such instances that in, than emotionally abusing the victim. Thank you, ma'am, for your empowering lecture on a on a concept which is still dramatically underreported, and your emphasis on how women need not have to be polite to someone. who is making them uncomfortable thank you so much for the awareness ma'am and also thank you for sharing us live examples uh, that happens in the society finally i would like to end with a quote that says a strong woman stands up for herself a stronger woman stands up for everyone else my heartfelt thanks to all the dignitaries and organizers of the university of women's association madras and the management of dr mgr janaki college for organizing this eye opening session thank you thank you sarshna an instruction to all the participants kindly fill in the feedback form that is posted in the chat box to receive your e certificates thank you thank you so much for the opportunity given to me i thank the college and dr lata uh, rajendran and uh, dr nita and then uh, And the Unosur Women Association is uh, definitely an organization who continuously do such programs. And today, Madam Sri Lakshmi, Madam is there. Thank you very much, ma'am, for your support. Thanks, participant. Be happy at, at the same time. Be safe. That's the message I just wanted to give. Thank you, ma'am.